Russia's indigo child, a reincarnated soul from eyes with fascinating knowledge baffles scientists. Boriska, Russia's indigo child, a young boy said to have lived on Mars and reincarnated on Earth. According to reports, a young boy called Boris Kapriunovich, who lives in Russia's Volgograd region, reincarnated indigo child. His knowledge and skills have fascinated not only his parents but researchers who have studied the young boy. Scroll down for a video interview. Boriska's mother claims the boy's knowledge of the universe is fascinating. Ever since Boriska, his nickname, was four years old, he was used to visiting an anomalous zone referred to as Medvedetskaya Gryada, which is a small mountain in the vicinity of Sarinovsk, where the boy lives with his parents. His parents stated that their child needed to visit the zone regularly in order to fulfill his needs for natural energy. While the story might sound fascinating and unbelievable to some, his parents, well-educated people are in fact worried about the incredible talents their son possesses. They are afraid as to how society will accept Boriska when he becomes an adult. Boriska's mother, a local doctor, noticed how special Boriska was since he was a baby. Fifteen days after birth the young child could hold his head without aid. He started speaking a few months after birth when he pronounced the word Baba after which he started pronouncing more difficult words with these. When Boriska was only one and a half years old, he began reading and at the age of two, the young child could already draw and paint shortly after. His talent and amazing skills were noticed soon after he started attending the kindergarten when tutors noticed his incredible writing and language skills and fascinating memory. However, his parents state that Boriska has obtained further knowledge from a source they say out of this world. No one has ever taught him, Boriska's mother said. Sometimes he would sit in a lotus position and start telling us detailed facts about Mars, planetary systems, and other civilizations, which really puzzled us, the woman said in an interview with Provdeport.com. As the boy grew older, his fascination with space became a permanent subject of discussion. On one occasion, the boy spoke about how he lived on Mars in the distant past. Boriska went on to say that the red planet is still inhabited today, even though the Martian atmosphere suffered catastrophic damage in the past. Boriska went on to say that the Martian civilization inhabits cities located far beneath the Martian surface. The story is even more fascinating, and many people find it hard to believe the more they read. According to Boriska, in the distant past, he used to be a pilot and travelled to planet Earth frequently during the time the ancient Lemurian civilization inhabited Earth. According to his parents, the boy speaks of the Lemurian civilization and their existence as if it were yesterday. Boriska says the ancient Lemurian civilization vanished because they failed to develop their society spiritually which eventually lead to their downfall. Boriska's fascination with lost civilizations and space and beyond fascinating according to his parents. His interest in diverse subjects increased when his mother gifted the young boy a book called Whom We Are Originated From by Ernest Moldashev. His parents say that the young boy could spend hours looking at the drawings of the ancient Lemurians. According to his mother, Boriska states that the Lemurians inhabited Earth 70,000 years ago, and were massive beings, which grew 9 meters in length. The boy's mother was not sure what to think, whether the child's imagination was overdeveloped or if there is a small possibility that what he was telling was the actual truth. In one occasion, his mother asked how can you remember all this? 
To what he responded, yes, I remember, and nobody has told me that, I saw it. Boriska went on to say that there are great discoveries still waiting to be made on our planet. The boy says that a massive knowledge database will be found underneath the Great Pyramid of Jaisa. He added that more knowledge will be found under another pyramid yet to be discovered. The human life will change when the Sphinx is opened, it has an opening mechanism somewhere behind the ear, I do not remember exactly, he said. No, I have no fear of death, for we live eternally. There was a catastrophe on Mars where I lived. People like us still live there. There was a nuclear war between them. Only some of them survived. They built shelters and created new weapons. Martians mostly breathe carbon dioxide. If they flew to our planet now, they would have to spend all the time standing next to pipes and breathing in fumes, Boriska said. If you are from Mars, do you need carbon dioxide? If I am in this body, I breathe oxygen. But you know, it causes aging. Specialists interviewed Boriska on several occasions and asked him why man-made spacecraft tend to crash on Mars as they approach the red planet. The young boy responded, Martians transmit special signals to destroy stations containing harmful radiation. His parents and those who have had the opportunity to speak with Boriska say he has extreme knowledge of space and different dimensions. He possesses knowledge of interstellar spacecraft and talks about that as if he was an expert. He has even drawn numerous UFOs and explained how they function. When asked to describe a UFO, Boriska said, it has six layers. The upper layer of solid metal accounts for 25%, the second layer of rubber 30%, the third layer of metal 30%, and the last layer with magnetic properties 4%. If we give energy to the magnetic layer, spaceships will be able to fly across the universe. The story of Boriska is beyond fascinating, and if there is at least a small amount of truth behind his accounts, then society has a long way to go, in order to understand our true origins.